Hi everybody, today I would like to share with you guys uh, some of my impressions of this new software. It's not new software, but it's a new update and looks completely different for the Biotrace Mind Media software. Um, I have the software for quite a while, but they have been they have done some updates in the past, but nothing compared to this. This is really good. This is like uh, giving a new life to this. Uh, to their device and the whole new you know uh, e much easier way to to you know to navigate and look at screens looks at data and so forth so I'd like to share with you guys my impressions of this uh, new update so when you first open the software that's the screen you get so let's check out all these uh, options they have you know and let's check out the signal library here just gonna quick feel of all those uh, you know all those modalities that you can go through so uh, they're all very you know on details I'm gonna quick fly through them I'm gonna show maybe one or two of each and so you guys have an idea what's about so let's check the EEG first and here you have the you know one channel one bunch one channel two bands one channel three bands so you can really train all of them so two channels and so forth and two bands and one EEG uh, SMR already for SMR theta beta uh, theta beta alpha theta e gamma and here basically if you wanna just look at the signal so check this first one for uh, here you can totally go on the fly here so you can if you wanna train um, SMR click here SMR low beta and you get here low beta and you get all those uh, you know options here and you get you know the threshold here uh, let's play a session. This is a C, uh, CZ, one channel. So I can show you one channel working. Um, let's look some of the options. So we have all those options here if you want to go, for example, train high beta. And there we go, I get signal for high beta. If you want to train, you know, uh, just beta, 15 to 18 hertz you can see here what the signals like you know the raw EEG and you know all those other uh, amplitudes in the in the screen so let's check this first here you can do a custom frequency range uh, define a custom frequency you can click here and go up whatever you want and go both ways so we can you know train this goal here is saying you have to train upwards and at the moment you can click for manual automatic threshold and disable threshold train upwards and downwards so you see here this is a show graph and hide the graph here so um, change feedback just the graph uh, video, puzzle, uh, animation, a game, a DVD, and audio. All of those options, if you click, it's gonna generate a second screen. So if you have a second monitor, we will display in that one. So your clients can pick one that they like prefer. You know, sometimes depending on what modality I'm doing, I prefer I like to use the audio, so I can have my eyes clo my eyes closed, and I can have still have the feedback, you know, listening to it. So depends. If you're doing more meditation, I rather have that. But if I'm doing SMR, if I'm doing beta, I rather have, you know, some puzzle. Let's check some of the options here in the bottom. Here is a show uh, reward counter on the client screen. That's another good feature. That just click and oh, uh, start counting. It's the what's the client score? Um, here, hide the reward counter on the on the client screen. 
and here to reset here again you have the same options but for EMG so if you have lots of artifacts you're gonna go over the threshold so I would say maybe it's again it's training to downwards so you have to you know keep th uh, the limit here not go over so it's a good indication to see if you how good is your signal you know is the EMG going you know up so try to you know to make more stable the cables and stuff in your head and there we go so this is the you know here is a marker and here is to see the data that when you finish collecting it um, let's check about the three bands here um, and again you can pick high beta beta or you can make your customs here so you know you can change three frequencies very very easy and give it feedback so you can say go downwards upwards uh, you know and you decide which things that you want to train upwards and give rewards and EMG here again so very very good give you the score here so pretty impressive pretty easy to use if somebody have not much experience using uh, EEG machines and uh, software. This is definitely, uh, you know, a good step uh, to use it. Uh, let's check more. Maybe now uh, we check two channels. Yeah, that's uh, two channels. Um, gamma. I like to do gamma training sometimes. Uh, again, uh, you have all those options there, and all of this uh, graph here, and you know, you have an, uh, an idea go out to 60 hertz here, so you can see the signal is really good as well. And yeah, uh, let's go back now, let's check something else. Z score I can show you guys but I don't have the database I never use Z score so I can just you know show you some of the screens uh, you know I have no idea what stop training is uh, I have not not opinion about it so Z score so apparently they have database and you connect to the to the database and show you give you points towards if you your brain waves go similar to the database so well it's a different modality uh, EMG and you have a lot there so you know and you have temperature base EMG to uh, two channels EMG easy temp uh, uh, skin conductance and temperature so 100 to 500 basic and so forth like you know connected to different uh, modalities like uh, government skin response and temperature it can be very good for if you're training meditation Oh, if you have tension in your body and your muscles and you want to learn how to relax so we have maybe you know this this uh, this screen here and you can see skin conducts and temperature and EMG at the moment it's just only EEG so I won't be able to show you the signals running here but you guys have an idea what it's like let's check something else uh, ECG so uh, you have basic, low frequency, and heart rate coherence. So let me see if you can load here. Okay, the session is still low, running. So I stop the session, and I get ECG, and then okay, and low. Uh, okay, so I load the session. So ECG respiration piece here. There. Yeah, I don't think the heart rate is uh is she temperature. Uh 
Oh yes, there we go. Now, you see she? Aspiration piece sh should come now. If it's not, maybe refresh the screen. Refresh. <laughs> 